so in today's class we we'll are interested to learn about the single line diagram so we'll be understanding how single line diagram is so what are its functions so how to go about it so this is this would be about the understanding of the single line diagram concept so let's move to the single line diagram its understanding and how to go about it so i'll be launching the microsoft uh, pad so this is uh, the single line diagram which i have already written so basically what a single line diagram is what it represents is prior to understanding this let me redraw it for you so single line diagram essentially represents the three phase network and given the interconnection between the different machinery associated with the power system so now these are the different symbols used so prior to going to this let's understand how the different symbols are used and how to make them so we have a different symbols for every equipment in the single line diagram what we are seeing over here so essentially we represent certain symbols so i'll write down here these are my symbols and this is the usage of the symbols so so now the symbols different type of symbols that i see is now this symbol circle is used for basically generators generators or rotatory machinery free machinery in the system and we have another symbol that is for a bus this symbol is used for a bus basically then for a two winding transformer we have this symbol this for two winding winding transformer and we have another symbol for delta connection for star connection this for delta this for star connection then if we have a star connection that is grounded so we can write y grounded y or uh, delta delta or pi is one and the same thing similarly y and star is one and the same thing this is the grounded connection over here so and then let's um, move on to another transmission line if we have to represent the transmission line would be represented by a straight line this is my transmission line and if i have to represent a load i'll be representing the load like this a static load like this static load okay then again uh, the symbol and the usage so again i'll write down my symbol and the usage here is my symbol as my usage these are some essential symbols for a circuit breaker like this okay similarly if it's a air circuit breaker like this okay if it is a disconnect switch this is a disconnect disconnect switch it would be like this and if it's a fuse so for a fuse it is like this okay this should be a little circular same as in that case or you can also represent the fuse like this this is hrc fuse for a fuse it has to be like this now for a lightning arrester it has to be like this this for a lightning arrester lightning arrester now for a current transformer it has to be like this for current transformer and for a potential transformer this is for a potential transformer or a voltage transformer this is like this so these are the essential symbols that we will be seeing over here so let's uh, move to the next thing and let's see uh, how do we what how do we associate a single line diagram and uh, what has to be done so there are three diagrams which we will be seeing one is the single line diagram okay then another is the impedance diagram impedance diagram and the final diagram is the reactance diagram so this is the reactance reactance diagram so if an single line diagram is given so how do you draw a reactance diagram or an impedance diagram from it and then finally how can you draw a reactance diagram from it so what is the difference between the single line diagram the impedance diagram and the reactance diagram suppose a single line diagram gives us that interconnection between the different electrical machinery connected in a power system okay so that already i have defined okay 
so what happens is that uh, if i'm about to draw i'll be using different colors to elaborate you let me use orange for generators so i have a circuit breaker hmm? i have generator one over here i have generator two over here there's a circuit breaker over there hmm? so i am drawing a single line diagram this is my one generator this is y connected and grounded another thing is also grounded then i have a load connected over here okay this is my static load that has been connected okay so at a point then i have my uh, other things uh, uh, that is my again circuit breaker in between circuit breaker you will see there is a transformer then you have a circuit breaker okay then there's a transmission line over here then again a circuit breaker then again a transformer then again a circuit breaker you have to notice that in between a transformer there's a circuit breaker then a circuit breaker okay a generator 3 this is my g3 okay this is also y connected and grounded okay and a load point b and a static load point b over here so i have to make a reactance uh, impedance diagram so in order to make an impedance diagram what i use is i use the positive sequence component so a generator is represented g1 the generator would be represented by its resistance reactance and a voltage e1 so similarly the generator 2 would be represented by resistance reactance and a voltage source e2 and the load at the third point would be represented by resistance and reactance so the load would be represented by the resistance and reactance so this is the load resistance and reactance so this is how it is this for the load so this is generator 1 generator 2 load point a and now after the load point a now what you are encountering is there's a transformer and a transformer so transformer essentially if for transformer if we use a uh, red color so transformer is a uh, resistance reactance shunt admittance branch over here so this is the shunt admittance branch okay and now for a transmission line we have a straight transmission line after the transmission line we encounter uh, one more transformer so we can see there's a one more transformer similarly resistance reactance shunt transmission okay there it is here uh, we forgot there should be one resistance as well as reactance reactance so here also resistance reactance now coming to the second part of it so in the second part we are encountering a load so what we will do is that first we'll make the load and the generator so then uh, we have a load point over here so this load point has to be made so there's a load over here resistance and reactance will represent this load so this would be load b and then we have the generator 3 that is resistance reactance and the generator 3 that is e3 so this is for gen 3 and this is transformer 1 transformer 1 this is transformer 2 transformer 2 okay till here this load b and this is the transmission line now when it comes to an reactance diagram so this is the impedance diagram so when it comes to the reactance diagram the only thing that we have to do in case of drawing a reactance diagram so note that while drawing a reactance diagram what what are the things that need to be uh, omitted so see the prior to going to that per phase reactance diagram uh, can be adapted by omitting see per phase per phase reactance diagram can be adapted by omitting so omitting can be adapted adapted 
by omitting all the loads so all the loads so this is to be omitted this is to be omitted number one point then resistances so all the resistances need to go this 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 need to go and shunt admittance and shunt admittance so this is a very important point shunt admittance that means uh, this needs to go this needs to go okay the only thing that will remain is a voltage source and inductive inductance voltage source inductance load is neglected here only thing this is to go this this resistance has to go this resistance and this resistance has to go and this has to go and this uh, all the reactances we have to omit so if i have to draw over here an reactance diagram so let's see how it has to be done so what i have to do is that uh, i need to draw a reactance diagram so let me rub this part and let let's understand how how the reactance diagram will happen so this reactance diagram over here so there is this circle i don't know why this okay okay so in order to make what is this this is a circle no problem so we'll we'll be drawing in order to make the reactance diagram over here so what i have to do is i would simply uh, take a uh, inductance and your plus minus that generator even then my inductance this has to be inductance then your e2 is plus minus okay for a transformer it will be represented by inductance for a transmission line it will be re represented by inductance now another transformer inductance and finally i have my inductance and my let this be my generator 3 that is my e3 plus minus and this is how my basically this 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 is for the transformer t1 okay this for transmission line okay this for transformer 2 this for generator 1 generator 2 generator 3 so this is how a reactance diagram is done this is our reactance diagram is done for liking the channel please subscribe press the bell icon and viewers support us thank you very much this was about it we'll be back with a new and refreshing lecture soon so thank you much and be uh, stay connected stay safe this is about the